Ever since Charizard EX has released, people have been trying to figure out the best partner for it. Some say Arceus V-Star, some say Pidgeot EX, others say Bibarel from Brilliant Stars, or any combination of the three. However, I'm taking a different approach. You know that artillery from Battle Styles? The Rapid Strike one? Yeah, we're throwing that into Charizard EX. What is going on, everybody? Hitmon Channing here back again with another Pokemon trading card game online deck tech. And we were here on PPCG Live taking a look at Charizard EX with Octillery, and it works better than you might think. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to the sponsor, PTCGL Store, for sponsoring the channel. Head on over to PTCGOStore.com to get yourself some codes, and use code HITMON for 5% off your order. You get a good product for a good price, and you help out the channel as well. So thank you to the sponsor, thank you to you for your support. And now, we're going to get right into the video. So, Octillery, what does this card do? Well, it has the Rapid Strike Search ability. It lets you search for your deck for a Rapid Strike card and put it into your hand once per 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 turn uh, and now you might be thinking why are we playing this in Charizard EX you know Charizard EX with the infernal rain ability yeah it seems like these cards don't really go well together at all but Octillery actually has some pretty cool uses that I would like to highlight right now so you can search for any rapid strike card meaning you could search for cards like tower of waters to bump any path to the peak that might be in play you could search for cards like Karina's focus to help you draw more cards you could even search for cards like echoing horn that will allow you to for example you octillery for echoing horn bring back luminion pidgeot ex for boss and then you can use that for game this combo enables a lot of cool interactions and a lot of cool plays you would not be able to make otherwise so this is kind of a modified charizard ex list to make the Octillery fit and work with the Octillery. So we obviously have a 4-3 line of Charmander and Charizard EX. We all know what this card does. It's incredible. Uh, we're also playing one Victini EX in here to assist with taking out Pokemon in the early game with that Victory Flame attack. We are playing a 2-2 line of Arceus V and Arceus V Star, as well as a 2-2 line of Pidgeot and Pidgeot EX. We have a Manaphy in here to help against that pesky Radiant Greninja, and then we have our 1-1 line of Remoraid and Octillery. Could bump this up to a 2-2 line as well, depending on what you find you're hitting, because this is all real matchup dependent techs and stuff like that. Uh, and in terms of the trainers, you know, we got 4 VIP, 2 Nest Ball, 3 Ultra Ball, and 1 Heavy Ball for our Pokemon Search, on top of 4 Rare Candy to get our Pokemon Evolved, and 1 Super Rod to put the Pokemon and energies back into the deck. We're rocking a really wacky supporter lineup in this deck. We only have two Iono, still got the three boss. We're playing two Colrus, two Karina's Focus, so we can draw off of Octillery, and three copies of Irida. Now, Irida is really cool because it lets you get yourself your Octillery plus a rare candy, for example. So you can get your Octillery, get your Stadium Bump, get um, your what's it called? Rare Candy off of the Irida, Evolve into Pidgeot, Pidgeot Search, another Rare Candy to get into with Charizard. Like, there's a lot of cool combinations that these single cards will enable because, you know, you can make, you can do so many different plays. And then for energy, we're just rocking 9 Fire Energy, and that's basically it. The list, pretty interesting, I will say, and I actually think it works pretty well in practice, so I'm not going to keep you in suspense any longer. We're going to hop into some games, get some dubs with Charizard EX and Octillery. Our opponent is calling the coin flip here, they chose heads, so naturally, tails, it, it, it never fails, you know? This is an exception. Anyways, this deck can set up pretty well, regardless of if you go first or second. Our opponent's gonna go first, so we get to go second, and because we play Irida, we can actually just Irida for VIP, which is one of the things I absolutely love about playing this engine. Literally, we're going second, L look, <laughs> is exactly what I was talking about, right? Now, they're playing a Zera Aura, which means that it's likely a Maridon deck, which is terrifying. But thankfully, we do have Irida, because Irida can net us our Remoraid, which can in turn let the Ultra Power Artillery, but then, okay, all right, this is solid. I'm, I'm happy with this, because we can grab our VIP, and we can also, I think we just want to grab the Octillery, because now, off of the VIP, we can get Remoraid, and, well... Hmm. No, I think we want to grab the Octillery here. Because we can do this, right? Then we VIP for Remoraid plus Arceus. I think that's the play. And now we just wait. The reason why I'm doing this is because if they literally, if they have a path, we're kind of screwed because we can't get both Octillery and Arceus out in the same t at the same time. This way we can. If we were to do it the other way, we could have gotten ourselves a, um, what's it called? A Pidgeot. But, I mean, we still could have got a Pidgeot, but then, 
like we couldn't get the Arceus as well. You know what I mean? I'd rather use the Ultra Ball so we can just get Arceus V Star. But now look at this, right? They have the ult the Nest Ball. They can Maridon. They only got four Seal Stone as well, so they can get their whole board set up with that Maridon, attach that Forest Seal, and then they can just find a path to the peak and just immediately shut us down um, if they choose to do that, right? Because this is Maridon. Maridon path is like the way to play Maridon now. I mean, anyway, it's my favorite way to play Maridon, but. I digress, like that's just how things go. So they got two Pokemon V. Now watch, I bet you that they're gonna attach a Forest Seal and, and just path. I didn't see what tool they got, to be fair, off of the Arvin because the game doesn't show you. But, oh, they got Bravery Charm, okay, never mind. That's fine. Maybe they already had Forest Seal in their hand, who knows? Um, see, there's a Forest Seal. I, I bet you it's gonna be a path. I bet you it's gonna be a path right here. Uh, no, no hand disruption because of a uh, of that Arvin, right? So that's why I want to do things this way because now we're actually going to just be a okay. Um, they might even be able to get an attack off. Uh, maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're getting a generator off of the uh, Forest Seal, which makes sense because um, they're going to try and knock out this Charmander here. Which honestly, that's fine. It doesn't really matter to knock out the Charmander. We can knock any of these two Pokemon out with Charizard for free. Uh, and we can even boss up the Raichu if we really needed to. Because actually, I kind of think that's what I want to do. I think I want to boss the Raichu and knock it out because it's easy and we can't take out the Raichu in one go. The Raichu, however, could can actually take a big knockout on us. So we're going to flee foot because we can't even knock this guy out because the Bravery Charm. Um, so we'll wait. We'll wait. We have the boss. We have access to it. So they're like, might as well. Here's another Ultra Ball coming out. They're probably going to be getting a Flaffy for the next turn. Another reason I want to take out this Raichu V um, to force them to tandem unit and grab another one if they need it. Um, now we're going to see there's a Lightning Rondo for 180 and they take a prize card. So, not too shabby, not the worst thing in the world here. Um, we're going to lead with our good pal Charmander. And yeah, I do think I want to take that Raichu out because there's no other way we can. We can also play Victini, which will be helpful for us later. So, I think what I want to do, we can Rapid Strike Surge, we can actually get rid of something, we can we grab, I don't know if I want to grab Tower of Waters, right? Because I kind of want to grab Karina's and pitch it, but we only have one Karina's in the deck. So, I might as well get rid of the Echoing Horn. So I'll grab Tower of Waters, just in case they boss KO Octillery. So I can do this, get rid of the Echoing Horn, get rid of the Fire Energy, and grab our Arc. And now off the arc, what I can do is I'll put Victini down and I'll play, I don't even want to play the Tower Waters, I'll boss up Raichu because we're going for that. Uh, and I can Arceus V-Star, we need Charizard. And I kind of just want to grab another Charmander because we can Octillery for Karina next turn, um, which I think will be more solid, right? And then if not, if they knock out our active Charizard, we just have to hope we get a rare candy off of the Karina, which honestly, not the worst thing in the world. So I'll bench that Charmander, we'll go for the rare candy here. And we can go for the Infernal Rain. Get that three of them energies, we'll power up our Zard. And we can also put one energy on Victini, I think because then we can use our other Charmander to power up Victini. Um, I think that's probably the best way to go. We could get Arceus going, but Victini can knock him a ride on where nothing else can can right now. So I, I'd rather power up the Victini just so we can be safe. We can also use it as a pivot with Strafe. So now we're gonna Burning Darkness, do 210, and we're gonna knock out that Raichu and take two prize cards. So that's actually pretty solid. If we were even able to get like an Irida or something, it could be in a good spot. Double Fire Energy, wow. <laughs> so they're leaning Raikou, which makes me think that they're not planning to use Raichu this turn which is good because it gives us a chance to power up this Victini. Um, if they were planning to go for the Raichu, they would lead Zero Aura because obviously they would go into Zero Aura, they would uh, use Dynamotor, or sorry, they would use Tandem Unit, Dynamotor, Attach, go into Raichu, and blow us up big time. But they need five, they need six energy to do that, which they can't do right now. Um, maybe that's still their plan. They got their other Raichu, maybe they're just trying to flee foot it and block the generator, who knows? Um, and they could try and judge path us here too. They have a lot of options right now as Maridon. They're just gonna research big time 
um, which is okay. They could try and go into this Raichu. The thing is, though, is I don't see why you wouldn't lead Zero Aura if that was your hand. Because you literally all they need right now is generator. There's that path, which is why Octillery is like so good. Because we can just bump the path and then we can just go into whatever we want. Lightning Rondo for 200. That's a okay with me. Um, I do want to get Victini powered up here. We get Pidgeot. So we'll bump that path for Tower Waters. We'll attach to Victini. And Rapid Strike Search. We'll grab Karina as well. So that's why I love... I'm just going to keep talking about Octillery. I love Octillery. And we can go for Karina's Focus. Uh, we do get Iono for next turn. We get Pidgey as well. So we're in a decent spot. Um, I do want to Burning Darkness here. Burning Darkness. And now things are actually okay because we can Octillery for another Tower of Waters next turn. Or we can... Um, well, we're going to do that anyways if they put another path down. And then we can try and find a Choice Spell off this Iono or Pidgeot and go for a Strafe KO on this Raikou, um, that's also possible as well. And they're gonna switch into Raichu probably, or to my Rhydon, okay, that works as well. They can Photon Blaster, take the KO. That just makes our Victini more strong. It makes our Victini powerful, which is one of the reasons we play Victini. Another path to the peak, that's fine, bro. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Octil Octillery is here to save the day. We literally just Rapid Strike Switch and get our Stadium. And we might even get another Rare Candy off this Iono, or we just get our Stadium off the Iono, which is also decent. Uh, we have Ultra Ball as well, so depending what we top deck, what we can do is we can go and put down the Tower of Waters. We can Octillery for another Tower of Waters and Ultra Ball it away if we want. I'd rather not do that though, because they play Quad Path usually in this deck. This is two paths accounted for. Uh, I think it could be safe to assume they've prized one. Don't know that for sure. They got a lot of energy on board, and now they're gonna knock out this Charizard. Thankfully though, we can go in with Victini, and we can take a knockout. Then all we need to do is just get our other Charizard powered up, and then we kind of just win the game from there. So this is solid right here. This I can't really complain about. Um, we'll go into Octillery as our pivot option here because I don't see a reason not to, right? We have the, the Tower of Waters in hand. We get another Charmander, so we're definitely playing the Tower of Waters. And I'm gonna Ultra Ball away the Nest Ball and the Charmander here. And now we have two Pidgeot, we have two Charizard. Charizard I think is more important to get into play than Pidgeot. So we'll grab the Charizard, and now we just go to Chloris and try and find our rare candy. That's all we really need to do here. We also need to find an energy so we can attack with Victini. So we need a lot. We get the energy, we don't really find anything else though, which is a little concerning. Um, we can attach to this Victini, now hopefully we can find something after. We'll go into our Victini here, we will Rapid Strike Search, we don't have anything else in the deck actually. So we're in a little bit of trouble right now, but we can Victory Flame thankfully, take the KO on this Maridon. They're gonna go down. We're going to go to two prizes, they're going to go to one prizes. We really need to find a way to get our Charizard in play. We have Boss, we have Karina. The only good thing about having Karina right now is if we get Ionode, we can just Octillery for Karina. We're also going to want to Octillery for Tower Waters because it's in our hand. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough game to close out here. We're just having a tough time finding those rare candies, you know? Um, it's interesting. It's going to be interesting for sure. They have the Maridon, which obviously is good because they can just attach to it, Photon Blast, and take a KO. Uh, we have Octillery, which is good because we can literally just go for a big, uh, go for a pivot. Now, yeah, we're really going to need to try and find that rare candy here. That's going to be the, the, the struggle. They can tandem unit for whatever they need. Um, they can even try and bump the Tower of Waters, which I kind of hope they do so we can play down our hand to use Karina. Um, but yeah, this is going to be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if they had another path here, because now we need to take a KO in order to win, literally if we find our candy. That's all we need, we just need to find our candy, and then we'll be okay. We have three energies in deck left, I believe, so we should be fine. They're gonna Iono us here. Could be good, could be bad. I mean, we're kind of just hoping on Octillery to help us get out here. Why? 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 <laughs> Why do we have to get two Battle VIPs off of... We bet if we top deck an Ultra Ball, I'll be so happy. If we don't, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry, for sure. I'm gonna absolutely start sobbing. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why do we have to get two VIPs off of that? We do get Irida, which is good. Um, the only thing is Irida can't get us anything we need. It can get us Ultra Ball, but it can't get us the other half. So we need to Rapid Strike Surge and go for Karina. Like, what is this hand? 
What is this hand? Oh my god. Yeah, we just lose the game here, unfortunately. That was like the most terrible Iono I've ever had, going straight into two battle VIPs. But that's okay, they can take that dub here. I'm just gonna concede, save us some time. Oh man, that's unfortunate. We had that game in the bag. We had that game. We just couldn't find our other rare candy. Let's go coin flip here. Tails? It never fails. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Tails never fails. So we're gonna want to go first here. All we need is we just want a decent start. That's all I can really ask for. Just want a couple Pokemon down. And starting Victini is not great, but depending on what we're versing, could be really, really good. Um, we do have everything, all the ingredients to chef up a turn two Charizard right now. So we're gonna see what's happening here. Waiting for our opponent to finish setting up. Um, they got the Shadow Rider sleeves. It could be interesting to play against Shadow Rider because we're good, but they do play a heavy path um, count now. Sounds weird, right? Uh, but we'll see what they are up against. It is Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider can be very scary. So what we're gonna do, obviously VIP. We'll grab Charmander, we'll grab Arceus. We have our V-Star, we have our Charizard, we have our Octillery. Do I want to grab Octillery it's, or Remoraid instead? I don't think so. I think I'd rather do this. We can attach to Victini because we, we can we can take a KO with Victini next turn. We can make our prizes a little bit more offset. So put down, yeah, we'll, we'll attach the fire. I just hope they don't have a path immediately. That would really suck. But they're, if they don't get the Solar Luna Tone down, they're also hurting themselves. So um, I'm guessing they're gonna grab another Shadow Rider here. I think that's a little bit more urgent than getting the Luna Tone down. Oh, they do the Lunatone, which makes me think I should have gotten Remoraid. I hope I didn't get Remoraid. Or I hope they don't have a path. Psychic Energy. Choice Bell. Path. Oh, man. That means we actually can't bump path here. Ah, oh, Because Shadow Mist stops us from bumping path. So unfortunate. So unfortunate. Now, I don't want to Iono them, for sure not right here i think i'd rather because okay we can't bump path right do i i don't want to iono them i want to leave the iono for as late as possible so i'll pass i don't even want to strafe i still want victini in the active this is tough because the Shadow Mist obviously stops us from bumping with Path. I want to save Ultra Ball for Octillery. Because if we can get the, if they don't Shadow Mist, for example, if they evolve, we're just playing a game of chicken. We're just kind of waiting to see who lets up first. Are they going to let up? Uh, they have a Fall Crystal, which they didn't have last turn for sure. So they're grabbing either another Psychic Energy or I'm guessing another Shadow Rider. Because they want to keep Shadow Misting. They never want to Astral Barrage us uh, unless they're taking a knockout on any of these things. Oh, they're grabbing an energy, so maybe they're gonna go for an Astral Barrage play um, eventually. They have boss as well, so this is scary, right? This is very scary. Um, what we might have to do, we're going on to the Arceus? Okay. Shadow Miss for 40, okay. Alright, I think now... Okay, maybe what we should do... Do we boss here? Yeah, I think we boss up probably this Shadow Rider. Pass. Okay. All right. All right. We're in business. I'm telling you we're in business. Unless they top deck an energy. Huge. Okay, huge. Pass. We're good. We're cooking so hard right now. We're cooking so hard. Manaphy, get out of here. We don't, we don't need you, Manaphy. We get to Ultra Ball. We get to grab our good Octopus Pal Octillery. Here we go. Here we go. Huge dub. Huge dub. The thing is, is we need to Iona. We need to bank on getting Arc V-Star. So that's tough. We could have Karina'd, but I'd rather not risk not finding the Path Bump. Um, we do find the Ultra Ball. Okay. We're, we're, we're chefing it up so hard right now. Um... We'll Ultra Ball, we'll get rid of Pidgeot and Heavy Ball. We'll grab our Arc V Star. We did have to get rid of our. No, we didn't get rid of our Torch Choice Bell. Okay. So, I can Starbirth here. 
and I can grab a Zard. Also grab the belt. That's in the deck. Yeah, we are cooking for sure. For sure. I'm telling you, we're, we're cooking so hard. Cooking so hard right now. Okay, I'm happy about this. This is a really good start because we can get Arceus all powered up. Get Zard ready for next turn. Zard is always taking a knockout because they're weak to dark. We put the belt on Ark and Kablamo Trinity Nova. We take this Shadow Rider out and we take two prizes. Now, we don't care if they put Path in play because we just Octillery for Tower of Waters and we are good to go. Getting two Fire Energy, also pretty solid because we can shuffle those back in if they Iono us. They are a, a Judge Path, Iono Path kind of deck, right? And, um,. So we should be good here. There's the Nest Ball. If they don't knock out Arceus V-Star here, we should be okay because we just Trinity Nova return KO them. If they do, that's okay. We just return KO them with Charizard. Uh, so it's not too bad. They could try and Astral Barrage us again. They're gonna whiff the Nest Ball, uh, Fog Crystal for an energy, that's fine. Um, looks like the game is freezing a little bit, which is not preferred. That's okay, thank you. Take your time, PTCG Live. Don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. There's the path, and there's a Fog Crystal. Now, are they going to go for the Shadow Mist again? Like, it really doesn't matter. I don't really care about the path to the peak stopping us at this point anymore, um, because we don't have another Charizard down. There's another Shadow Rider. There's a Judge. They're gonna judge us. Putting the energy back, that's fine with me. I'm actually kinda happy about that. Um, this is really weird. This is a very strange situation going on here. Um, why do you only have two cards spread out evenly when you have premier spells that have four cards in hand? Okay, we made it. We made it back alive. Uh, they're going to switch into Lunatone and probably pass here. Okay. Now we get another arc. And... Uh, do I rapid... Okay, we'll rapid strike search for sure still. Right? We can grab Tower of Waters, bump the path. I just kind of want to draw off Karina. That's all I really want. We get Ultra Ball, which is solid because I can Ultra Ball these away. I want to get a Charmander down because I can Rare Candy after, right? I can just Rare Candy. Uh, we can prepare this Zard and literally just Trinity Nova. We have one uh, Stadium left in deck, which is good. That's exactly what we want. We don't want, um, we want the bait them to keep using paths. Now we should be okay because they they need to put a Shadow Rider VMAX in play in order to win the game, right? They need to take a knockout that way. They can Astral Barrage, but that's only doing 50. It's not knocking out Charmander, so we're okay. Like there's nothing much they can do here. Um, as soon as they put their fella in play, their Shadow Rider VMAX, they must have a bad connection or something because I don't know why it keeps lagging whenever it's their turn. Like our, our deck is working fine. Here's the Shadow Rider and I'm guessing an Underworld Door. Yeah, the path comes down as well. Here's the Underworld Door. Uh, if, you, if you don't know why this combo works, it's because the new Lunatone uh, will let you prevent all effects of Stadium stun to your Pokemon if you have both Lunatone and Solrock in play. So the way this whole Shadow Rider deck works is really cool because you attach energy with Sun Energy from Solrock to your Lunatone to make Shadow Rider's damage go even higher. So it's really sick, it's really, really cool. Um, yeah, every time they draw cards, it's so weird, eh? I love, I love PTCG Live. It's just it's such a magical experience. Um, but I think we're just gonna kind of have to wait for them to get through their turn here. We do have the, we have the dub, anyway. Uh, there's the heavy ball coming down. Nothing in the prizes. They're gonna Iono us, which is also tough. But Octillery is here to save the day. Um, we have every, literally everything we need. Espeon V coming down. Ultra Ball getting rid of they're moving now. They're like going crazy right now. This is like the Shadow Rider experience. I think they, they have three energies attached, so they can knock out this Arc V Star here, I believe. Uh, another Shadow Rider V Max. The thing is though, is like they knock it out. Sure, we literally just go into Charizard and we win. It's like it's one of those things where it's not a huge deal because. So they're gonna go for their uh, for a seal, but like really it doesn't matter. The, the only situation where it would matter is if they could knock out Charizard V-Star. Um, but they're gonna keep Underworld Doring, they're gonna keep ramping that damage up. If they played like Cross Switcher or something, that could be deadly. But there's a Max Geist for 250, which is actually just enough to knock us out. And here comes Bad Boy Charizard EX to move into the active spot. And all we need to do, it's very simple really 
is we just need to Burning Darkness for 480 damage and take a KO against Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX and take the final three prize cards of the game. Hello, coin flip. You say it. You say it with me. Ready? Tails never fails. Don't. You know what? Just don't even worry about it. I was. I always joked. We were joking. We were just like joking around. You know. Um, they got heads, so they're gonna have to choose to go first or second. I'm guessing they're gonna want to go first because who doesn't, right? Um, going second isn't bad though, because obviously you're enough for VIP, so it's not bad. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see what exactly we're playing against. This is a solid start. Yeah, this is solid. We just need a good top deck after. They're going first. I just want to kill Charmander. Um, could be playing against a Charizard deck. Looks got a bit doof in it. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, solid start. I just, like, it's the next turn, is the, which is going to be hard. We wouldn't really want to start with two boss in here, right? So you don't know. There's a Nest Ball, which I'm guessing is going to grab their Charmander. Yeah, so it's a Charizard Beer match, except only one of our decks has Octillery. So only one of our decks is better, you know, is, is the best, is the best deck ever, you know? Um, and now, yeah, we just gotta wait. They got the Arceus, they got the Pidgey, they got the whole package here, you know? You already know, they're double turbo in the Arceus, they're going crazy. They're, they got everything that they could ever want and need in life. We got Pidgey, so we got a pretty solid start. We can VIP, grab Arc, grab Charmander. It's all we can really ask for right now. <clears throat> yeah, if we get Ultra Ball, we'll be okay. I kinda just wanna boss probably the Charmander. Just pass? Question mark? Could have left the Bidoof in the active. The only thing is, like, my mentality behind it, right, is they obviously they have the Arceus V-Star, they're planning to attack with the Arceus because they have the double turbo. So they can Starbirth, they can get Zard, and I, they can either attack with Zard first, if they just go right into Zard, Zard powers itself up, they attack with Zard, or they get Zard down and they retreat Bibero into Arceus because they want to attack with Arceus first. Putting their Charmander in the active lets them, you know, uh, forces them to have to choose to discard two energies or to attack with Charizard, we want them to attack with Charizard first because we can go into Charizard and we can begin uh, out trading them in terms of the prizes. We want them to take the single prize. Uh, the only thing is our turn has to be solid. Like we need to get something. They get another rare. They have everything they need. That's that's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. And they have Iono. So thankfully for us, we get a new hand. We're gonna see what we would have drawn off the top though. Would have been Colrus. Would have been okay. This is a fine hand they have absolutely everything they need here they have an artisan as well artisan is good for us because we can actually grab ourselves a remoraid uh which i really like about that and yeah they're gonna take out a charmander um i like i really just want to um i really just want to hit into this charizard i want to out trade their charizards here and now they have Bibberol, and they also have Pidgeot. So like their their list right now, I think if it gets set up, it cooks so crazy. But they're doing 180 on the Charizard here. Uh, there's nothing we can take out with Victini, so Victini's just an easy target, which I don't really like right now. Um, should probably shouldn't have benched it, but that's okay. We can go in with our other Charmander. We have Nest Ball. We have Ultra Ball. We're chilling. We'll go for the Artisan. And we'll grab ourselves a Remoraid. And we'll also go for the Nest Ball, grab ourselves another Charmander. So we should be fine here. Um, I do want an Ultra Ball. I'll get rid of... Iona's not going to help us, so I don't really want to keep it. Well, Iona will grab Arc, because we're going to use it for sure. And I do want to Colrus and just draw more cards here. So we get this. We can get the Belt. The Tower of Waters isn't going to matter, because they don't really play Path. It's more just for our sake. So we can evolve into Arc here. We'll go for the Starbirth. And I do want to Starbirth into... We need Sard. We need Pidgeot. So we can grab Pidgeot. Rare Candy Pidgeot. Rare Candy Zard. So we'll do that Rare Candy into the Pigeon. And then we can Rare Candy once more. If only one Rare Candy left is going to be tough for us. 
but we can wear candy into this guy. Big Charizard is online. And now what we want to do, go Infernal Rain, grab three energy. We'll put one, two, we'll go into Arceus next. Uh, as always, you know, we, we're going to attach the arc. And now we can burn in darkness for 210. So yeah, they can't take a one hit KO here. We're going to knock out their Charizard. And then they can knock us out with another Charizard. They can knock us out with Arceus, whatever they wish. We just want to keep, we want to go, we just want to out trade them in two prizes. We want to force them. See, the, the whole thing about this that makes it tough is they can just literally boss KO a one prize at the end of the game, but they're going to have to take an, one extra KO than we are. So we want to capitalize off that. We want to, they're getting their, of course, they're getting their other Charizard up. Why wouldn't they? Uh, we want to capitalize off the fact that we can earlier start taking more prizes. Um, so we need to get our Charizard up and running next turn. Uh, our last Charizard, which is good. We can go into Arceus, we can take out this Charizard, unless they want to retreat it. If they retreat it, that's a bit different, you know? Things can be, um, things can be really interesting if they want to do that. Um, because we can try and run them out of energy in a way. Uh, they're gonna research here, getting rid of rope and such, so they have no intentions on switching, it seems. Um, we could also give them Victini, just so they can punch into that and they don't KO it. Um, if we were to do that. So, the King also has one retreat. We also have Pidge up for Pivot. Nothing bad. We're, we're, in, we're in a solid spot, right? Uh, we just want them to hit into us and not take a KO. Um, that's the only thing that I'm concerned about. But they research. They can't boss up one of our small guys. We want to get another Charmander online. So, we'll be doing decently right now. We could also retreat our Charizard EX. And, yeah, they're going to switch. So, that does sound about right. I figured they would do as much. Um, they can punch into this Charizard, but we do need to take a KO, like ASAP, we need to take a KO on that Charizard EX on the bench. So, they can burn in darkness. What we can do is we can retreat this Charizard and just find boss. Uh, we do get rare candy as well, so I kind of think I want to do that. I think I want to retreat the Zard. The thing is, is they can just boss up the Zard. They haven't played any, so they can boss the Zard up and just take a KO on it. But I do. I think I do want to leave them with Arceus in the active to force them to find boss. So I think that's kind of my motive right here. We retreat, keep a Zard. We can Pidgeot find boss. Um, we have one boss left in deck, so one is Prize. That's important to know. We can boss this Zard up. We don't need to play Belt just yet, and we'll Trinity Nova here. Um, so they can't knock out Arceus. We force them to find boss's orders. In which case they do that, they take two more prizes, and then we can even ease more easily take a knockout. We get Karina, we get Chorus. So Chorus is good. Karina, not super useful right now. Um, we do need to get this other Charmander online though. Like that's that's our prerogative a ASAP, I should say. Them starting with Arceus is interesting, which means that they're probably gonna hit into us with Arceus. And I would kind of like to try and just hit into their Charizard, if that makes sense. Um, looks like they're just thinning their hand down with the Ultra Ball just to try and draw more cards. Um, yeah, that sounds correct. Um, now they're gonna boss up our other Charizard. So they had it in hand, they didn't need to quick search for it. So that's one boss down. Charizard decks always, almost always play three. So we can count on that happening. Um, yeah. I'm just curious. I'm so curious to see what the kind of... Uh... Okay, so they're going to take a knockout with Arceus. That's fine. Because we can try and... Like, I don't want to boss this Zard. So I'm just kind of curious how... I'm... Oh, they're going to actually charge themselves up. Okay, I guess because they can retreat this uh, Arceus and take a knockout on Victini after. I guess that's their play. They need three prizes remaining, right? So... We're going to leave with Pidgeot just so we can have a free pivot. I'm just curious how I want to do this. Um, I can get the rare candy for sure. And now three prizes remaining. We could knock out this Arceus here with Charizard, right? With the Choice Belt. Because they have three prizes remaining. Or, yeah, they have three prizes taken. So we can essentially do 300 damage, take out the Arceus. I think that's our goal. So I think I want to Ultra Ball. I'll get rid of Karina. I'll get rid of Polaris. Grab the other Zard. Make sure we have enough energy to power it up. We do. Perfect. Okay. This is what I want to do. I want to order candy into Zard. Infernal 
rain. Take three energies here. Do this one, two, and we'll even we can even power up Victini this way because then we can. I don't know. Victini's like it's not gonna do anything. It just gives it an energy to pivot. We'll switch because right now yeah we're doing 270. So the belt makes it so we can take the knockout. We also have Karina to fill our hand. But I think I want a quick search. And I want to grab an Iono. Another thing we can do is we can... Because we knock out the Zard. Okay, I have, a, I have a plan here. We can use Octillery with Echoing Horn to... Boss... To Echoing Horn boss something up after. I think Iono is the right play here though. Uh, we just want to get Octillery down like as soon as we can. Because we don't have much time, right? Holy, that was a terrible hand. Um, okay, I'll Artisan and shuffle us up a little bit, I guess. I don't want, I don't want to take the Charmander. Pull the Tower Waters now. And we can Burning Darkness for KO. So what we want to do, right? We want to get Octillery up, because then we can Echoing Horn, and then boss the, uh, what's it called? The Bench Arches and win the game. Rare Candy VIP, not good. Maybe we shouldn't have Ionoed there. I just want to give them less options. Um, because they need to take three prizes still. So if we can hit into the Zard or anything, we just need to boss Pidgeot. However, if they boss our Pidgeot, things become a lot more complicated um, because they, they just need another boss to win. So I guess, I, I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. I'm fairly certain that's what they do. But if they boss KO Pidgeot, we just win with Charizard EX. So they might have to swing into Pidgeot here. There's a choice spell. Oh, maybe they're going to boss the Arceus. Artisan, that's okay. So I'm curious what their angle is here. Because right now they're doing 300 um they're not doing anything more so they can boss pidgeot that gives us the win then putting down rcs v also gives us the win unless they ko pidgeot um because like you know choice belt's not effective on charizard so i'm curious i'm so curious they're gonna boss what are you gonna boss victini that that just guarantees us the win though Okay, you can do your 300, that's fine, because because this is the key in the Charizard matchup, you never want to take a single prize. You don't want to take one prize, you always want to take two in the Charizard Mirror. Because now, we can lead this, this Charizard, it doesn't even matter, we lead our Charizard, we're doing 330 damage. We even got the Echoing Horn, we're doing 330, we can even be funny. Let's quick search, we even be funny, just to show the power. We'll grab, uh, what's it called? No, we don't want we won't boss. We'll Echoing Horn boss, we'll be funny. We'll echoing horn. We got the arc V on the bench. Boss it up and then we'll KO it. But yeah, we were doing 330, so them taking the single prize didn't matter. In the in, in the in the beginning, it actually made them lose the game. If you ever wanted a Charizard V matchup, or a Charizard DX mirror match, I like uh help, that's that's the key. What do you think of my Charizard EX plus Octillery deck? This deck is really fun because Octillery basically is just a tech card. So if you're playing against path decks, Octillery is there just to keep bumping the path. And that's literally all it's there for. But you can also use it to help you draw cards with Karina. You can use it to get Echoing Horn and pull off an Echoing Horn boss play with Pidgeot. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with Octillery. It's just, this is just a normal Charizard EX deck just with the little Octillery Spice in it. If I were to change anything about the deck, I'm still constantly playing with the Supporter Alliance. I don't know how I like 3 Irida. I might want to take out an Irida, put another Colrus in, excuse me, or another Iono. Um, I think 3 Tower, 1 Horn is really good. I just don't even know how much I like 2 Karina. 1 Karina seems like it's enough sometimes. However, sometimes you want 2 in case you prize 1, and the Karina can really swing the matchup back in your favor. So you don't really know um, if the Karina's the Korean account. Other than that though, I think the deck is pretty much perfect. Also don't know if you need Victini. Victini is only good, again, in certain matchups. Um, so you could replace Victini with another Remoraid to ensure you don't prize it, but that's why we again, we have Soon Heavy Ball in here. So this could be the optimal way to play Charizard. I don't know. I absolutely love this deck. I think it's so much fun. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below. What do you think of Octillery plus Charizard? What do you like? What do you dislike? Would you keep and would you change? Subscribe to the Hitmon Channing channel because I'm posting multiple Pokemon trading card game videos every single day. Or every single week, I should say. I post a couple times a week. You know how it is. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time. Hitmon Channing. Out.